here. You're ready. Welcome to my world. Action figure hunters, we're back with another great review for the X-Men Juggernaut wave. Told you we're going to do the whole wave. We're getting to really close to the bath figure. Build a figure for some of you that don't know the acronyms. And we have Katie Pride here for our review. So as you can see, typical Marvel Legends window box. We have the figure with his accessories and build a figure piece. Very neatly displayed. Let's take a look at the side of the box. Side of the box, we have Katie Pride right there. Looking nice, great. You can see the little dragon right there at the bottom. Oh, how cute. Back of the box, we have a nice little picture of her, of the actual figure and the rest of the figures in the wave. We've already reviewed Iceman, Havoc, Rogue, Phoenix. So the only ones left we have is Cable, Wolverine, and Deadpool, the Merc with the Mouth himself. Here's a little read on the figure there. So you can go ahead and take a look at that, pause it, so you can read the little bio they have right there for Katie Pride. Let's take a look at the other side of the box. Same picture as the other side. So they pretty much put, print the picture from the left side. Same one's going to be on the right. Once in a while, they change it up. Let's look at the bottom of the box. Barcode, top of the box. We have the X-Men emblem looking great there and all of its X-Men glory. So let's open her up and look at the figure. All right, so we have the figure out of its packaging. And I want to say I had a great fun, great deal of time and fun posing and taking pictures of this figure you know stay tuned to the end to take a look at all the pictures but this is a very fun figure in my opinion even you know with Lockheed um, most of these figures come with very little accessories I wish they would have more hands you know it'd be great for her to have both open hands on both her left and right hand you know both fisted hands you know more hands more and more accessories of hands would be great with Marvel Legends I think because you can get a lot of great great poses um, so let's take a look at the figure and look at the sculpt and all that greatness that Marvel Legends has given us So let's take a look at Katie Pride's here. Her sculpt of her face is really nice as you can see uh, Great shadowing you can see great Sculpting there the chin. I mean it looks like she has a very very small head and a very small neck But it works. I, I think it works well with this costume. This is a very this is an old costume that they've used. Obviously, it's the original costume here, not none of the new ones that they've used for the movies or, you know, the newer generation of comics. This is the older version. So, I don't know if the hair is articulated or not, but, I mean, I could seem to get a slight bend out of it. So, I'd be careful. I mean, this is just me bending it here. So, there is some slight give to it. If you are going to move the hair, like put it over the shoulder, that can be done. Just be very careful. Be extremely careful with that. Because you do not want to break that. Because then you'd have to go out and try to search for this figure again. And that doesn't sound fun. It does not sound fun to go having to search. And no, I'm just kidding. You guys are hunters, obviously. So it's no problem. So this wave is doing very well from what I understand. So once again, you can see the eyes. They did very well with the eyes. Here. It, it, this, this figure looks human-like looks extremely human like you can get some great great facial expressions just from that one sculpt of the face the eyes look great they're not wonky so the sculpt is very good and as you can see so let's go to the articulation the head is on a ball peg See if we can pop the head off. We can pop the head off there. Boom, ball peg. So it looks like inside. So we can get a nice 360 rotation. Looks up. If the hair was out of the way, you could probably get more of a great angle for her to look up. But with the hair in the way, this is about as much as you can get her to look up without having to slightly pop off the hinge. Looks down at this much of an angle. You can get good head pivot to get some expression out of her. Now as for the joints, the arm joint can fully go 360 and goes up this much. There is no bicep swivel, so this part is one big piece of plastic. So there's no bicep swivel. We got a one jointed elbow. We got a 
wrist swivel and a hinge. We have a diaphragm joint or ab crunch. That's the degree it can move forward. That's the degree it can move back. So you can get some good poses out of that. As you can see, there's a little bit of paint right here on the side scuff I, I'm guessing from the belt this is a loose piece so I normally just leave it right there to go with the figure hips leg joint moves up this much goes back that much I got the good articulation there we have a thigh swivel once again I think it's a useless joint double jointed knees We've got ankle articulation, you can move up, move back, and we got the ankle pivot. Let me comment on the below, guys. Let me know how important is the ankle pivot? How important is that? I think it's important. I like when figures have it. That's just me. The paint apps on this figure is very great. Um, we can look at it here. It's just a flat black. I'm guessing the whole figure was pretty much molded in black plastic and they painted the rest maybe the arms the wrist right here this might have yeah this right here was probably painted in uh, molded in yellow plastic that they slipped on then they glued it this right here was molded on for the chest piece and then they just painted it you can see right here the lines look pretty fresh not that many scuff marks. There's some paint right there, if you can see that. Some paint right there, some dripping. We've got a gapage right here. But no other complaints. Detailed figure. Great articulation. Very simple. Easy. So let's get a size comparison. Here's a size comparison here. We got Venom from the Absorbing Man Wave and we have Iceman. See, Iceman literally disappears in a white background. So the figure stands slightly smaller. Let's take the measuring tape, take a look. Figure stands about six and a half inches. That's what we're looking at there. Six and a half inches compared to the other figures. So it is in scale with your Marvel Legend figures. Real quick, let's go over Lockheed here. Nice little dragon that we have. It's all molded in purple plastic. There's no paint apps whatsoever on the figure that I can see. Let's get some more light on it. Yeah, there's no paint apps. It's all purple plastic. Nothing on the eyes. That's pretty much it. So there you have it. That is my review of the Marvel Legends Katie Pride. Juggernaut bath figure. Make sure to keep hunting my action figure hunters. Click the like button, subscribe, so that way you don't miss out on any reviews. See you next time. All right, so we got Jean Grey here, or known as the Phoenix, as you can tell in the costume. We have her here all posed up. So let's take a look at this figure and see what this figure's all about. So we can see how tall she stands. She's standing about six inches and a quarter. It's about the same size as Rogue. I find this figure very difficult to stand because they're using kind of like a slope, basically a, a 